All right, all right, guys, welcome back. And this is more like a fresh start because all we've been doing so far are more like repetition. If you take a look at the initial thing with backend, you find out that literally all we've done within the aux has been done before. The only difference is the introduction to a different database, which is the MongoDB. So now that we are done with that, we can, we can now focus on freshly what is peculiar to Facer. So in today's episode, we are going to be setting up the service API, which is going to manage the services offered by Fincer. So let's get into our code to code this out. So we can close this for now. Just like we have with the opt, we are going to create a new file. And I'll call this service.pro. And in here is going to be packaged API as well. And just like we did for the art, we are going to create a struct for us. We are going to our type service struct that is going to be referenced in the server. And also we can have the router, a service, service group, and all that. So the difference here is that every operation within our service is going to be authenticated. So as a result of that, we have to specify utils dot authenticated middleware. Not util, utils. So here we are specifying the utils.authenticated middleware, stating that every operation within the service route are going to be authenticated. So the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to create our service. We want to be able to list our service. And finally, we want to be able to update our service. And for this, the way I have approached this is there are different services that can be carried out. We have the card generation service and the payment gateway integration service. Our focus for now is still going to be the card generation. So here we're going to have create. Then we need to specify the type and we can denote that by type. So here we are going to have the create service. So just call it create. Then we need the lists or let's just call this lists. So we list out all the services that you've rendered. So this will be lists. Then finally, we have the updates. So we don't need gets, we just need updates. So just like with the creates, we want to also update based on types. So you can only have one type at a time anyway. So yeah, we're going to work with that. And I'll call this updates. And now that I create all these functions, so this is creates. So we need gene. And for now, I'm just going to do cts.200 that creates and we are good. So let's do for list and update as well. All right, so we have all that. Now we can come back to the server and register this. So we have service, then we'll register that. So now if we come back to our server, we'll realize that we have the service paths as well. So as you can see, we have the service create type and so on, which looks root. So it means we are onto something. So now let's take a look at what we are trying to do. So because we can have different type, let's actually come down to our connections and create the possible types we can have. So we come back to collection, we can have um, the service lists. And this is going to be a map of string, capital string. So the first kind of service we can have is going to be the capped generation service. And for that as well, we are going to create the connection for it. So here we're going to add card generation, or rather it should be a capture letter because it should be uh, using root. So card, so this is string as well. And if we come here, we add card generation service. So this works, but I want to use this pattern like that. So now we did our service list, we can say collections dot card generation service equals to card generation service. And because it's still the same thing, we start as if we are dealing with any other thing. And the reason why I want all this information to be the same is we are going to use the information, the service type we've specified to select the collection we want to use. So that way we want this to be the same. So the key is also equals to the value. It's the same thing. Okay. So we need the comma here. All right, cool. So that's what we need in regards to the service list. So coming back to the service, let's take a look at what we are trying to do. So when we eat the create function, we come here and we try to get the type of service we are dealing with. 
So we try to convert it into our connection. So if the service type we specified is not valid into our connection, then obviously it's not a valid service. So that's when we need to look at it. Then probably then we can start creating several other things, like deciding on what type of service we are dealing with. Then based on that, we go to our DB and select that service and so on. So that's the way to look at it. But the way I want to look at this is, I want the services type we can create be alien to us on this path. So we're going to have a service on that DB data run, more like have service and so on. But for now, I want it to be alien here on the create path, such that all we need from the have service is just create, and depending on the type we've selected, is going to figure out the necessary function and things to do. And for that reason, we are going to be exploring something called an interface. So we have an interface as a return type, which kinds of saying we are returning any value. Then we have an interface as a behavioral type. So we're going to be looking at that in the next episode, which means we can just conclude this one as the fact that we've set up the service API, bring build our benchmark for this episode. So yeah, let's stay tuned for the next one where we delve into some critical process of handling our services. Bye for now.